Hello everyone, Tomo here and welcome back to another episode of the Paris FC Road to Glory career mode here on FIFA 21. Now, after our dodgy result in the last episode, we kind of got a bit back on track but it kind of gone a bit uh, down south. <laughs> Obviously we lost our undefeated streak and then we lost three games which, you know, isn't brilliant, but that's football. You're going to go through a bad patch of form. But luckily, we would had such a good start to the season that it didn't really matter. Uh, as you can see there, we did draw PSG in the Coupe Nationale semi-final. So that'll be the first time we ever play them in this series. But we start today's episode off with a game against third place Stad Brest. Now, it's quite an important one in terms of the title. But in terms of promotion, we're already promoted, so it makes no difference to us. I don't think they can even catch Bordeaux at this rate. We start off there, we're in the ball. And Martin finds a Lopez who's driving down the wing. There's not many options on for him right now. He decides to take the shot, wins the corner. It's pretty much the only thing he could do in that situation. But from the corner, Viviani's going to take it, of course. Our designated taker. And the keeper comes out, makes a good punch and gets the ball away. Unfortunately. Now, Brest on the attack with Perrault and Favre. Decent little players for the league there, if I must say myself. Having a quite a good season in league N. But nothing really happened and it ended up being half time. There was literally no highlights in this first half apart from the things you've seen. But I guess a 0 nil against third isn't the worst. Unfortunately, now they're on the attack. I hope we can uh, block this. Favre on the ball, who's drove inside. Sorensen with another fantastic tackle, definitely my player of the year. Hazard finds Gite, who's into the channels, which he always does, so much better than Laura. Hazard tries to drive through, gets dispossessed, and nothing really resulted from that. Now, Chabonnier, the target man, has got the ball. He puts the ball in, it's a great block by Sorensen, a great save by Cardozo on the rebound. And we managed to scramble the ball away with Hazard. He's trying to find Hanin, he does not really do it. Kind of goes out for a throw, unfortunately there. Not long after, but Tokyo, his former team of course, uh, plays in Hazard, he finds Jute, he finds Batel, and there's only one outcome. The guy is so good. He's very strong for a 16-year-old wonder kid. And I enjoy using him so much. Narsing, first there to celebrate with him. One of the leaders of the team since he's come in, it has to be said. Now Batel... He's a stranger and obviously he's 16 so he's going to be inconsistent but he misses some well easy chances like the Bordeaux game for example. And then in this one gets pushed over, gets back up, drills it, keeper's got no chance. It's a perfect strike and he makes it 1-0 to Paris FC. Now could we get a like on the video for that goal and subscribe if you're new it'll be much appreciated. But that's his fifth goal of the season. And for a guy who didn't come in until midway October time, he's fantastic. He's had a great season. I'm not sure how many assists he got, but I guess he's a goal, stro goal scorer midfielder even. Now, they do have a free kick here, which is rather dangerous. But we get the ball. We block it. Ball falls back to them there. And then Narsing and the combination of Viviani managed to win the ball and nothing resulted from their chance. Hazard now driving diagonally. He finds Patel, oh, he's so unlucky there, he just can't squeeze it inside the post. If you see here, look how close this is for a goal. He can't get enough bend on that ball. And that would be the final chance of the game for us, pretty much. Uh, as Hazard wins the ball and plays a long ball over to GT. He's just going to run to the flank now, just to get the win. And we put the ball in the box because we know once he clears it, the referee's going to blow the whistle. A minute after extra added time, of course, as they always do. But that was a big win in terms of the title. We beat third place Brest 1-0 with a goal from our wonder kid. And it has to be said, he is fantastic. Uh, our next game is against FC Chambolet, and they were bottom of the league. Pretty much, I think they were 18th. So it should be a routine win for us here. Especially how well we played in that last game. I know we only scored one goal, but we are so solid defensively and in midfield. And we win the ball early. Lura's starting this one. Finds Hazard, who's through on goal. And you don't know what Hazard's going to get when he shoots. And you've got the shite Hazard. 
Oh, I've put him on a training drill to uh, increase his curve, but that was dreadful. How many chances do you reckon I've put in this series of him doing that and it's not going in? I still have not learned to um, <laughs> not finesse it with him. Now, Shambalera on the attack a few uh, minutes later. Ducouri, the striker, great challenge there from Sorensen. Wins the ball fairly anchoringly. Second ball comes in, we get it away. Now, 10 minutes later, Patokio finds Hazard. There's no one really in the box, we have to cut back. He tries to play and Martin, not going to happen. We win the ball from the clearance. And Patokio's shot is blocked by his own man. Summed up our start to this game, I guess. Great flick on there by the Henry, I'm assuming that is. He finds Ducouri and our defence is out of no man's land. And Oh my god, what a finish that is. He manages to chip Cardozo. He was, he was in the middle of no man's land. He had no chance either way, I don't think. But Ducouri scores his ninth goal of the season. And we are 1-0 down to bottom of the league. And at this point, I was starting to panic. I was like, oh god. <laughs> what, it's all going wrong. Are we actually going to drop it? But a nice little ball through there to Laura. He finds Hazard, who's now driving to the wing. Starts to cut inside. It's a good tackle, but not the best clearance. Unfortunately, Martin can't win the header and cushion it properly. Otherwise, we might have had a chance. And that was it for the first half. Second half we go. Lopez driving down the wing. I believe he's a substitute at half time, maybe. Uh, Moene, who's actually playing, finds Laura, who's doing a little twist and turn. Finds uh, Florian Martin, and he's lucky he's offside there because that was a horrendous miss. As you can see, he is offside. There's no denying it. Unfortunately, the pass came too early. But we move on. Got a bit of belief that we can get back into this game. Laura with a fantastic ball through to Lopez there. Can he score it? No, straight at the keeper. If he could hit more shots across goal, he'd be so much better. But he's a reliable backup winger, so I'm not going to complain. Laura wins a header from the corner. Unfortunately, heads it into the ground. And then there, I don't know who he is. Oh god, Susanjara. He gets injured. So there's a stoppage in play. Hopefully that can go in our favour, even though you don't like to see a player get hurt, if we can get a chance from it, because one of their better players isn't playing, then I'm all for it. You can see he lands hard on his elbow there. It seems to hold his knee, so that makes sense. And then here comes their sub. And obviously there's a goal kick for them. Uh, from the resulting goal kick, they play the ball out. He gets past Lura quite easily. The press isn't working, as you can see. It was just running past everyone. And now they are through on goal here. There's a great ball over the top. Sorensen with a good tackle. The ball falls kindly for them. <sighs> and they score. <laughs> we are 2-0 down to the bottom of the league. At this point, I took Martin off for uh, Batale. Obviously, Batale's a better player now. I thought I could maybe rest him in this game. But it doesn't seem like we have can. And the Correa scores. Batale somehow is captain. I'm not sure how that happened. Now, Mwene down the ball to Lopez. Lopez managed to drive inside, beat his man. It's a good ball to the back post, but Lura just can't win the header. And it's looking bleak at this point. We are 2 0 down to bottom of the league with seven, well, about 14 minutes left of the game. Now, Batel driving across goal. He sees the Hazard, and oh my god, what a goal! See there, Batel is a difference. He comes on, he drives at people, which Martin can't do. Finds a perfect cutback and Matt uh, Hazard with a fantastic strike, it must be said. Goes top bins, like the keeper's got no chance, as you'll see from the replay. You can see the Patel driving. Brilliant. Hazard, great bit of movement there to drop off his man, and it's per perfect where centre back can't get it and the keeper can't get it. And that's his 10th goal of the season, and what a way to get the 10th goal. Now they're near attacking. Good tackle from Mwene. Sorensen finds uh, Gakpa. Now Hazard's got space. What a ball that is over to Lopez. Unfortunately, he can't control it and the chance is gone. Now Hazard again gets the ball from Mitchell's clearance. Uh, Batale on the ball. That's another fantastic ball. And oh, EA Sports, what are you doing? Look at the, look at the code in there. And Lopez capitalises. And luckily, <laughs> we get the draw. Now, it's so undeserved, but if the keeper's going to make a mistake like that, which I don't even think he would make in real life, let's be honest. 
what happens? Like, he goes to clear it and gets muddled up over he wants to catch it, I think. It's a brilliant finish from Lopez under the keeper as he's diving. It's a narrow angle. And it's probably, what, 18 yards away? The time it hits the net. It's a great accurate finish. And he saves our bacon, really. It's his fifth goal of the season. And he's been fantastic as a sub this season. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this game. As you can see, we're already over the time. It's like, oh no, the ref's going to give him one chance to score. But no, the referee blows the whistle. It's a 2-2 away from home against bottom of the league, pretty much. Not a fantastic result, but at least we never lost. Right there, I'm jumping to a live con for this. Interestingly enough. And now then, I'm going to jump into a live commentary for the PSG game. Poetic in a way. On my 22nd birthday, I'm playing PSG. How mad is that? Now, I don't expect to win this in the slightest way anywhere. I mean, <laughs> look at their predicted team, man. Neymar and Bappi and Cardi, Di Maria, Verratti, Valverde, John Stones, Rudiger, strange one, Florenzi, Navas and Juan Bernat. <laughs> oh my god, we're going to get absolutely banged. I can see it now. Um... I get that now. Martin's coming out for the tail. And hopefully we can do something. I'm not expecting much. But let's just pray we can get to the final. Semi-finals of the Coupe Nationale. I think this is one leg. I'm not sure though. I don't know if I care about the commentators. They're not actually commentating. I hate them. Or I hate Lee Dixon. Now oh, come on. We've had a good run. As you can see, we knocked out Leon, knocked out St. Etienne, we knocked out Lorient. We've knocked three league game teams out. Ugh. What team are PSG playing? Obviously, I can't show the thing because of copyright issues. So it's the team the game predicted. Oh no. Ah. Oh. This could be a demolition. Block there by Sorensen. Oh, giving the ball away cheaply there. And again, Sorensen. He's going to be so important today. Oh, that's not a good pass, but GTA's going to get there. He's got Florenzi for strength, surely. Out to Lopez, oh how I wish I had Josh, uh, Jacob Murphy. Ah, god damn it. Oh no. <coughs> Jesus, that was a close offside. I'm glad he didn't go to Di Maria then. He's got there. Okay, good. Oh, it's a great ball to Hazard. He's absolutely left Florenzi. GTA, gone. Oh. So, live we start for us. Bit of a worry for PSG there. We got in behind very easy. And he's hit his shin pad. God's sake. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Great clearance by Pukats. The tail's got some room here. He sees Hazard. They've, they've sent a lot of men forward. To, uh, Togan has that, Killian has that, and Lucky. Do you want to save that on Navas? Get to him. Oh, great tackle. Oh, I don't have enough time to counter, but I think we might have been the better team in this first half. I'm not thinking it's going to last, but for now, I'm happy. Um. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite a close game. We're just sitting back, hitting on the break. Maybe it'll work. Maybe we get to a final. Let's see. 
Here we go. Hazard through to Jute. He's ran the channels. He's got Patel coming in. Oh my god. He's got to finish that. That's, like, oh, that's a great ball as well. It's on a plate. You've just gone too early. Get rid of that. Oh. Who's that? John Stones. <laughs> That's a caddy. It makes it a bit better. That's not deserved. I don't know who was marking him, but he gets stuck under the ball. And it's an easy header. Who is it? It's Killian Hazard. Bamba doesn't get across in time. It's a great header. He's glanced it. Yeah. I feel hard done by there. Oh, that is terrible. Oh my god. What is that defended by Bamba? It's a great goal. I mean, I can't get away from the finish, but the defender from Bamba was awful. What's he doing? So he clears it. Surely that's a foul on Bamba. I mean, he's timed that to perfection. Cardoso, no chance. I mean, he's not even died for it. But I'm not annoyed at him. <sighs> to be fair, though, it's PSG. What do we expect? Scheiser. Caught on the ball. It's a bit risky, but that'd be a pass back. Uh oh. I've got the ball there, referee. That's poor officiating. I mean, it's a yellow card and he's not giving me one, so... I guess that's a bonus. Good save from Cardoza there, assured. Now, nah, if this goes through, oh, God's sake, he got there. Go on. Lure us through here. Oh, my God. That is awful. I just don't know if he's going to be good enough for the league to earn. Oh, what a finish. Is that Mo Who is that? Moise Keane? Who the hell is that? It was my mistake. I dived in. Didn't need to. And we've been shown who's boss in Paris. It's a bit sad because we, we did have two clear cut chances. Both missed. Keeper's got to do better there. I don't know who this guy is. Kelly Nuendo. I'm going to have to look who he is after this game.
Oh, wow. He's actually going to blow the whistle when I'm through. Wow. But we've been showed who's boss. As I said, it's a shame we had two chances to score. Game could have been different. We've made a good show for ourselves in terms of we got to semi-finals. Hopefully we can use this heartbreak to help us win the league. I'm going to see who this r and guy is. I'll see you at, the, well, at his profile. Right, so this guy has got great potential. <laughs> God damn it. So, their squad's pretty good though. So, you know. They got a lot of uh, money and he's two alone. So, I'm not that disheartened about going out to PSG. Obviously, I can't be disheartened, but it's still sad. But, I'll see you in the next game, which is against... I have no clue, to be honest. We are promoted now. Can. And then in the next episode, we have three more games, and that's the end of the season. So I'll see you in this last game.